Hey everybody, this is Darkside, and welcome to part one of Legacy of Cain Defiance. I can't wait to get this thing started. Given the choice, whether to rule a corrupt and failing empire, or to challenge the fates for another throw, a better throw against one's destiny. What was a king to do? of fate, and thus defy the tyrannous stars. a little pixelated. And so I returned to the sanctuary of my enemy, the fortress of the Sarathan Brotherhood, deemed impossible for any man to penetrate. <laughs> Impossible for any man. I don't really learn how to do some of these stealth attacks. That'd be pretty awesome. Deep within these walls, my prey awaited. Mobius, the time streamer, deceiver and eternal gamester, using living beings as his pawns. In the end, we'd rooted out an entire nest of we had swept that area already. Not well enough, but no matter. We purged every last one of that brute with fire where their souls now rest. Lord Mobius will be pleased. Lord Mobius be pleased indeed. It was time for Mobius to answer a few questions. I hoped for his sake to find him in a forthcoming mood. Not sure exactly why in the world that we expect Mobius to do anything. Let alone be, I don't know, agreeable to anything. And you gotta take into consideration he already knows you're coming. Well, anyway, let's refamiliarize ourselves with controls here. Oh, what the hell did I push? Okay, that's better. Looks like some sort of weird zoom in. Not sure. Now, I'm having to actually use x Pattern once again. Um, they say that this game's having problems with some of the controls. So I wound up finding a profile online and use that. Well, so far it seems to be working alright, I guess. Hold the soul set. Now I was kind of thinking it was this game, but I actually think it's Blood Omen 2, where you you know you you really encourage to suck as much blood as possible because it kind of winds up uh, making you more powerful in the end. At least I'm pretty sure that's Blood Omen 2.
I always thought that was kind of a neat ability for vampires in this world anyway, that they all seem to be able to take in blood from a distance. Just not a not a common thing you see in other vampire games. Oh good, we have a glide. I was thinking about that. Like, how do you get by long distances? We do have a kind of a version of a glide. Hey, now how come Kane can do this? Maybe he has all the previous powers of the other guys. Move to miss through the gate. I guess that's kind of like Melkiah's gift. I don't think Melkiah really used it as misting through. But... Help me! Help me! Oh, please, no! From time to time... It is necessary to feed, and the unusual event of a feast prepared by the Seraphan must be savored. Now this is one thing I actually remember that they did quite frequently in the original Blood Omen, is that they would have you know prisoners chained to the wall uh, as just kind of a nifty little blood supply for you. It's kind of cool that they brought that back. Boy, they're all over the place in this. Oh, well, I suppose let's just not leave anything to chance. Let's go ahead and get them all. Gotta collect them all. What do we got? No. Nope. What's this? Some sort of a power up. Ah, a health talisman. Okay, well, I'm guessing you don't get power ups from sucking on people. We're going to do it anyway because it's like a lot of fun. Hey, look at that cracked wall there. Yep, we can break through it. What was that? <laughs> the touch of water is like acid to a vampire. I had to find another way to pass. Okay, so that's like the one ability you didn't get, huh? I mean, you got just about every other one. You get the ability to pass through the grades, the ability to climb on walls. but not the ability to get into water. Alright, well, second time to charm, right? There we go. Controls are a little funny in this one. I don't remember them being quite so quirky in the original PS2 game. I think it's the auto directioning thing, the the deal where, you know, it kind of turns and whatnot for you, and I think that causes you to miss quite often. To be perfectly honest. A TK must mean telekinetic. Yeah, looks like it. That green bar there, I think, is my telekinetic bar. So that's exactly what that looks like. Pick up a snack on the way. Ooh, multiple snacks. Heh. <laughs> Figure what the hell. Let's try it on the other side too, huh? This passage undoubtedly led to the time streamer. My prey was nearly in my grasp. But the door had been sealed by a blessed barrier. As I approached, the reaver resonated in response. Perhaps its dark sorcery could dispel these holy barriers. 
The Reaver was not yet powerful enough to shatter these barriers, but there was something to this. I wonder how he figured out that there's something to it whenever it failed. I mean, it seems kind of intuitive that there isn't anything to it. Go up there, maybe? Ah, okay. It goes to a little cutscene. I guess you know you're going the right way, right? Huh, oh, archers. Let's use that ability we used before in the cutscene. Hell yeah, that thing works great. This looks vaguely like the courtyard from the second one. Oh, another rune. The arcane tome. No idea what that's for. It's a shield and a sword. statue over there. I bet you that's Malak. That'd be my guess. And look, he's missing his sword and his shield. Well, that's gonna come in play here pretty soon. kind of thinking that you might be able to, uh, I don't know, move the statue or something. What the hell are these? Arrow slots. How awesome is that? Okay. Can we break them? Looks like it. Damn it. Get over here to the side where they can't hit you. Few of these things up there. Uh, looks like all of them. I certainly hope I'm going the right way. Okay, this is um oh what's the Williams Chapel? Well, I guess it eventually becomes Williams Chapel. I guess this is the time of the Seraphim, so I have no idea who's supposed to be in here, if anybody. Locked. What a love of doors these pathetic humans have. Well, one might assume that it keeps assholes like you out. <laughs> Obviously, it doesn't work so well. No. That long distance blood sucking. How awesome. I love it. Come on, pick it up. There we go. Hey, that looks like that one rune. is unmistakably of vampire origin and designed to enhance the Reaver's power. But this coincidence seemed too convenient. Mobius clearly meant for me to find it. Sound the alarm! Vampire! Don't let him escape! Well, they're coming out of the floors. Surrender, fiend, and we will promise you an easy death. I could promise you the same. 
but it would be a lie. I'm at at combat targeting. Okay. I don't know if I like that, but let's see how it works. Yeah, take that. Come get over there close to him. Yeah. So I guess this is kind of like the finishing move. It allows you to eat. And it's kind of strange that they all kind of stand there while you're doing it. I mean, I'd have expected them to, I don't know, get up and do something. Like that one guy, he's got perfect time to kill me right there, or at least hit me and knock me out of, you know, sucking the life out of his buddy, and he doesn't. I wonder how long that lasts. This barrier had a curious resonating effect on the Reaver. Well, there's one barrier down. I suppose let's check out the room. Make sure there's nothing I'm missing. Well, it doesn't look like I'm missing anything, but then again, how in the hell do you really tell? I'm just kind of going where I think I'm supposed to be going. Ah. Uh. I think there was one down this way too, somewhere. <laughs> well, there's a nice reminder that it's there, right? Arrow in the wall. Just about would look like it was going to be an arrow in my butt. Must allow TK to be Hmm. Oh, fine. You old snake, if you want me to do it with my bare hands. was actually, if you prefer, I use my bare hands. Let's try this. Oh, get over the door. Yeah, see that guy's just standing there. I mean, not that I'm complaining or anything. Just seems a little weird to me. What's going on here? That looks like it this needs door something. had been equipped with a singular lock, requiring an unusual key. Somehow, I would find it. How exactly do you make a lock like that? Probably looking for a way up, is that it? Well, it kind of appears to be. That's usually they lock the way down. It's just, if I break that. Off you go, buddy! Let's go up here and see if they left me anything. I doubt they did, but you never know. Ah. See, exploration pays. Was this TK rune? Yep. This almost looks like the uh, the uh, burial chamber room from the the last one. I don't know if that's where they kind of got the idea from it for or not. Now it's just a training room. 
press hold auto face or manually enter combat mode or to manually enter combat mode. Let me guess, more fun with arrow slits, huh? Oh! Hey, look at that double suck. How completely awesome is that, huh? So, where do we go? What, I gotta turn this thing or something? Oh, okay, you gotta break that thing, I see. And that opens up the way to the next little area. How convenient. Yeah, see, that's what I did. They um, seemed to automatically lock the way back. Hmm, they're getting more aggressive, I see. That's the one thing I don't like about this. They open a door and they kind of, I guess they kind of show you where it's at, but it, it's kind of hard to follow exactly where it's at. Then you wind up having to run around this thing looking for what they showed you. I guess you can't go through there. Locked. Nothing there. What the hell is that thing on the ground? Okay, yeah, blood pool, I see. Nothing in there. Oh, come on, where the hell was that thing? Mm hmm, guess there's not in here. Well, I think I've searched three sides. It only leaves one side left, right? This didn't look quite right. Receive cadaverous laceration. Huh, just about to figure that one. That is a little later. So we're to up. I guess we can't really go up that way, huh? Oh, hey, there's the barrier. That other way did not look like this way, though. I mean, I remember there was still a grate there, wasn't it? Or did it come down? Uh, I don't know if I should go look for it or... Make sure there's nothing around here. Well, I guess. 
things seem to be moving on, so let's go ahead and continue. Hey, look, more fun with arrow slits. <laughs> okay, dodge. Let's try the jumping. Fell down that thing. Huh. Oh well. Know what that was all about, but not really all that important, I guess. I'm trying to go down a little slow here because I I don't want to fall into any water. Where did I come from? I think... Yeah, this this is the new way, it looks like. Anything in these barrels? Mm. Nope, I guess not. What the hell is this? I'll jump for to tense for long jump, I see. Okay, so he'll jump and go. Hmm. Hold on. It looks like a telekinetic deal right there. I'll blast that. Awesome. Oh god. Okay. You watch, I'm going to wind up falling in this water at least once. Oh, oh crap, oh crap. Hey, what's this? Health rune. Oh! See? Try to be careful, the more careful you are. You still gonna die. Alright, well, oh boy, here we go. Now let's see if I can do this without doing it again. Alright, over. Jump. Jump. Okay. Does it look like there's a way to the right? Okay, let's try this way. Ah, use the TK to aim. Okay. I think we're about on the Mobius yes, here. I understand. It will be done. The stage is set. You needn't linger in the shadows, Kane. It has been a long time, hasn't it? No banter, Mobius. You know why I'm here. Yes, Raziel. You sought to introduce your own pawn into this game, and now he's been swept from the board. By your hand, I suspect. Where is he? Perhaps you should ask, when? <laughs> How humiliating it must be for you to come begging at my doorstep for us. Enough wordplay. Don't threaten me, Kane. You see, I have the upper hand. How remarkable that the great Kane should succumb to the scepter's power like any common vampire. Still so arrogant after all these years. Thinking you've devised some brilliant plan. You know nothing. You have read the signs, but missed their meaning. 
You believe you are that myth of vampire prophecy, the scion of balance, and that Raziel holds the key to fulfilling your destiny. <coughs> but your messianic delusions have blinded you to Raziel's true nature. You have no idea what you've unleashed. There was a time when you might have heeded wise counsel when it was offered. Now, your vanity has made you witless. You will have to learn the truth for yourself. You'll be needing this. Your strength will return after I have departed. But by then, you will have more urgent concerns than pursuing me. Perhaps, when we next meet, you will have learned a little humility. I'm gonna say that's gonna be a next day on the humility to manifest from the very shadows. <laughs> Mobius's attempt at stopping me was not one of his better efforts. When I found him, it would be my turn to offer a few surprises. And something tells me that that's not actually what he had in mind. But we'll see. Ah, now we're on to Raziel's story. Hey, it's Elder Bro. Surrender, Raziel. Abandon this petty rebellion. It was I who made you. Your life had played out, and in my grace, I spared you. You are my reaper of souls. You have no other purpose, no higher destiny. Just this. Accept your calling, Raziel. Let go of these vain hopes. Relinquish your will, and feed. No. What do you profit from this defiance? There's some grim satisfaction in infuriating you. My patience is eternal, Raziel. How many eons can you bear to languish here? The wheel of fate must turn. All are redeemed in the cleansing agony of birth, death, and rebirth. This is the engine of life. The purifying rhythm of the universe, to which all souls are irresistibly drawn. Yours is a necessary and noble function, Raziel. Enough of your sermonizing. Are you trying to bore me into submission? Why must this game go on? We both know what you are. You are no better than the vampires you so despise. A voracious parasite. Cloaking its appetite in a shroud of righteousness. I refuse to do your will. I can see into your heart, Raziel. It is not your will, but cowardice that keeps you here. How so? You know what fate awaits you when you leave the underworld. That phantom weapon you bear is a constant reminder, isn't it? The sword is waiting for you out there somewhere, and you tarry so as not to meet it. I could not deny it. As long as I lingered here, defying my captor, I was able to postpone what I feared was my inevitable doom. To become the ravenous spirit imprisoned in the Reaver Blade. But that sentence was no worse than the stalemate I now endured. Better to face one's destiny, than cower from it. Harvester of souls, I created you. And to this function, my angel of death, you will return. Enough. Yes, I submit. Very good. Indulge your hunger. Oh. Oh. 
So we're kind of pulling a Gandhi uh, here, then, huh? Just kind of refusal yes. to eat. Embrace hmm. your calling, Raziel. Well, not anymore, obviously. You will find that justice defiance has its price. So obedience has its rewards. And submission is not always what it seems. All right, well, I think that's going to end this episode. We're actually kind of running a little low on time. So remember to like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I really enjoyed making it. Thanks for watching. We're going to see you next time.